my story starts at the army. I, uh, I was um, a power trooper for two years and then I got injured and I entered uh, into the computer simulation, computer unit, and this is how I got exposed to computers. When I finished um, the army, I went to study art in Jerusalem in the art academy. Always, yeah, I grew up painting and sculpting, etc. But while being an art student, I was already very into technology and um, I started a company, and while not knowing, I was one of the first entrepreneurs in the country. Uh, we specialize in 3D technologies for games and multimedia and internet. And this is how I started a journey of 18 years in software development, always combining um, art or graphic 3D technologies and, you know, and the industry. Um, but my passion was always to do art, so finally I was able to merge my company a year and a half ago, kind of clean my table and focus on art. For the last 10 years, just around September 11, I realized that the world is a really non-stable place, obviously. And I realized that uh, I cannot just devote my life to software because I'm creative and I want something tangible to stay uh, as, you know, as while I create, not just software. So the last 10 years or 9 years I've started developing this process that you've seen before where I started writing uh, computer 3D physical simulations and the aim was actually to create sculptures. But it took me many years to create those technologies and the process and to get to the qualities that you've seen. A year and a half ago I was able, as I said, to just focus on my art uh, and start produce the art. But all the process and the technologies of the explosions, the accidents, the liquid simulation, etc. This has been many years of development and trial and error. And the way I see it is basically I'm, I'm fascinated by sort of creating simulations because I do believe that we live now in a world where it's all simulated anyway. The TV, the information, everything we consume is, is manipulated information. But then taking this simulation and manifesting it into a physical object and sort of freezing a moment. In my process, because I develop mathematics, physics, I create this physical situation on the computer, I can then send it to print and, and when you look at the sculptures, you can see the movement in the waterfall, in the wave crashing, in the accident. The aesthetic is very minimalistic, very clean, um, very influenced from the screen because you know all I see every day is those illuminated Apple screen high resolution so that's why my finish of the sculpture is also very clean and very kind of uh, this is my inspiration it's from the computer actually I definitely think that in the future we'll see more and more our artists uh, combining you know in their palette technology and uh, high-tech ways to fabricate art. Uh, currently it's not that popular because uh, you have to be really comfortable in your right side of the brain and your left side of the brain. And I, I happen to be comfortable in both and this is my career. But I think in 20 years from now technology will be much simpler, much more ubiquitous and also the young kids now they are being born into that. That's their environment. So I've been a guest of DLD uh, for seven years, eight years, since the beginning. And it's always amazing uh, the quality of people and the multidisciplinary people that you find, whether it's architects, musicians, artists, technology, business founders, venture capitalists, and everybody's sort of coming not to do business, but really sort of food for the soul and intellectual, and um, so sort of having it in Tel Aviv, it's great.